Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the crossed paths throw. And uh, that's the throw that you see here in this picture and I'll also show you a little bit of it right here in front of you. So this is the design here. The blanket is made using a block lace stitch which is a fairly sturdy lace stitch. It's comprised of single crochet and double crochet stitches. So if you're new to crochet, these are very basic stitches. This is a great pattern for you to work. The blanket is worked in rows as one piece uh, and then uh, following working the body of the blanket there is a simple edging to each of the shorter ends of this blanket. The blanket measures approximately 34 inches by 58 inches and it is made using the beautiful shawl in a cake by Lion Brand Yarn. The color that you see here is called Healing Teal and I just love the uh, variations of the blues uh, in this cake. This is a worsted weight or medium weight yarn, a number four there on the label, um, and it's in acrylic and cotton blend yarn. Absolutely beautiful. You'll also need a six millimeter crochet hook and a copy of the free crochet pattern that you will find on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. The direct link will be provided for you in this video. Thank you so much for joining me for this free tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel which is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. So uh, once you are all set, you have a copy of the crochet pattern, grab a hook and some yarn and let's get started. Now for our tutorial today, I am only going to be crocheting a small swatch of the pattern, uh, but I will give you the instructions for the entire blanket uh, as we go. But I'm just going to basically give you a demonstration of the stitch and the edging so that you uh, have all the tools you need to make this blanket. So if you are following along with the crochet pattern, you're going to start by chaining 170 chains. If uh, you would like to change the size of your blanket, you're going to need a multiple of six stitches plus two. Today in this tutorial, again, I'm only working a small swatch, so I'm going to start by chaining 26 stitches. There's 10. Eighteen, and 26. For row one for this blanket, you are going to start by working one single crochet in the second chain from hook, and then you're going to chain five. So count in one, two. In that second chain from your hook, you're going to work one single crochet stitch, and chain five. Next, you're going to skip the next five chains, one, two, three, four, five, and you are going to work one single crochet in the next stitch. You are now going to repeat chain five, skip five chains, single crochet in the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across, chain five, skip five, single crochet in the next stitch. Continue that all the way across your work. If you're working the pattern, you will have 28 chain five spaces. Work your final single crochet in that final stitch, and then you will chain one and turn your work. Once you have chained one and turned your work, you're ready to start row two. 
For row two, you're going to start by working one single crochet in that first stitch, five single crochet in the next chain five space, and then single crochet in the next single crochet stitch. You are now going to repeat. Work five single crochet in the next chain five space, and then single crochet in the next single crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across, working your final single crochet stitch in that final single crochet, and then you are going to chain three and turn your work. Once you have chained three and turned, you are ready to start row three. In this pattern, your chain three at the beginning of your row will always count as a double crochet stitch, so you will always treat it as such and work in it as necessary. For row three, you're going to skip that first stitch because that chain three is a double crochet, and you're going to work a double crochet in each of the next five single crochet stitches. Next, chain one, skip the next single crochet stitch, and work five, uh, one double crochet stitch in each of the next five single crochet stitches. You are now going to repeat chain one, Skip the next single crochet and work one double crochet in each of the next five stitches. When you come to the end of your row, you are going to work a final double crochet stitch in that last stitch. At the end of this row, you should have 28 blocks of double crochet stitches. At the end of row three, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row four, you're going to start by working one single crochet stitch in that first stitch, chain five, and single crochet in the next chain one space. So you're going to skip those five double crochet and then in that uh, chain one space, work one single crochet stitch. You're now going to repeat chain five, skip the next five double crochet stitches, and single crochet in the next chain one stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across where you will work your final single crochet stitch in the top of the starting turning chain. At the end of row four, you are going to chain one and turn your work. Now for the rest of this blanket pattern, you are going to repeat rows two to four until your work from the beginning measures approximately 56 inches or your desired length. So you'll start with row two, which was a single crochet in the first stitch followed by five single crochet in the chain five space, and then continue on from there. So repeat rows two to four until your work from the beginning measures approximately 56 inches. At that time, you're going to end on a row four, and you're going to fasten off and weave in your ends. 
Okay, so once you have worked your blanket to the desired length, you are going to begin uh, by working the edging. Now the edging of this blanket is only worked on the two shorter ends of your blanket, uh, and it is worked in rows. What you're going to do is you're going to take your yarn and you're going to, with the right side facing and the top right hand corner if you're right handed, join your yarn with a slip stitch. You are then going to evenly work 170 half double crochet stitches all the way across that end. If you've changed the size of your blanket, you're going to need a multiple of six plus two stitches. So today for this tutorial, I am going to work only 28 half double crochet stitches all the way across. Again, if you're working the blanket, you're going to work a total of 170 half double crochet stitches evenly all the way across your blanket. At the end of your 170 half double crochet stitches, you're going to chain three and you're going to turn your work. Again, that chain three counts as a double crochet stitch. For row two of your edging, you're going to skip that first stitch and you're going to double crochet in the next. Next, you're going to chain one, skip the next stitch and work one double crochet stitch in each of the next two stitches. You're then going to repeat. Chain one, skip one, and work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. You're going to continue that. Chain one, skip one, one double crochet in each of the next two stitches all the way across to the end of your row and then you are going to chain one and turn. At the end of your row two, you've chained one and you've turned your work. For row three, you're going to begin by placing one single crochet in that first stitch, chain two, and single crochet in the first chain one space. Chain four, single crochet in the next chain one space. You're now going to repeat chain four and single crochet in the next chain one space. So you're skipping two double crochet in between each single crochet. Chain four, single crochet in the next chain one space. You're going to repeat that all the way across to your final two stitches. And when you reach those final two stitches, you're going to chain two and single crochet in the top of your turning chain. I'm coming to the end of my swatch. So I've come to the last two stitches. I'm going to chain two and then single crochet in the top of my turning chain. That brings you to the end of row three. You're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. For row four, you're going to single crochet in that first stitch and then skipping the next chain two space, you're going to work five double crochet in the next chain four space. So you're going to skip your chain two and your next single crochet and then you're going to work five double crochet stitches in the next chain four. Next, you're going to skip the next single crochet and you're going to work a single crochet stitch in the next chain four space. You're now going to repeat. In the next chain four stitch, work five double crochet stitches. and then single crochet in the next chain four space. 
In the next chain four space, work five double crochet stitches. And single crochet in the next chain four. Repeat that all the way across to the end of your work and you're going to single crochet in the final stitch. So in your row four once you've come across to that chain two you're going to skip the chain two, work your final single crochet in the final single crochet in the row below and then you can fasten off and weave in your ends and that's your edging complete. You can then uh, repeat those rows one to four for the opposite end of your blanket then fasten off, weave in your ends and block your blanket if it's desired. Thank you so much for joining me for the stitch, tutor uh, stitch tutorial on the crossed paths blanket. Uh, once again please don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to crocheting with you again soon. Happy crocheting. Till next time. Bye.